Hello, my name's Kay Williams, and I am a registered dietitian nutritionist with Complio Physical Therapy and Wellness. One of the common questions that I get is, how do I know what portion size of a certain food I should eat at a meal? And so I thought I would go through some of the proper portion sizes and just help you have a balanced plate. The most common way we really like to teach this balance is what we call the plate method. And I'll just show you this plate here today. And you'll see that about half the plate is what we call non-starchy vegetables. So salads, green vegetables, orange vegetables, yellow vegetables such as squash, any of those could count on that side of the plate. And the good thing about using the plate method is if you have about half your plate in vegetables, it really helps you control the other parts of your plate, such as protein, which should take up about a fourth of your plate. And then your more starchy vegetables and grains such as rice, noodles, they really should take up about a fourth of your plate. So we're not really recommending that you totally cut out carbohydrates, for example, but by this method, you simply control the amounts of these different foods that you eat at a meal. So I'm going to show you a few portion sizes to make this a little more clear. We really like to use a tennis ball. Uh, a tennis ball is something that, you know, we're all familiar with the size of it. And so it's a good way to kind of think about, okay, how many uh, vegetables should I have? What should that serving size be? How much macaroni and cheese should I eat? These are some examples. So if we look at cereal, for example, um, and we look at putting your oatmeal in a bowl, one serving would be about the size of this tennis ball. If we look at a vegetable, uh, such as green beans, broccoli, again, about the size of the tennis ball on your plate would give you that one serving. Now, you have to keep in mind as we looked at the plate, you're going to have two or three servings of those vegetables at each meal, but we consider one serving a tennis ball, okay? Tennis ball size, all right? If we look at dairy, something like ice cream, which who doesn't like ice cream, right? Um, it would be a serving, about half a tennis ball would be a serving of, of ice cream. So to make it a little more clear, I thought I would show you some food models of some of the different foods that I'm talking about. A good example of a serving of berries, for example, is right here. Uh, it's about three-fourths cup, okay? And as you can see, if we bunched those up, they would be very similar to a tennis ball. Another example would be grapes. Um, grapes, about a tennis ball size. If we're looking at something like a grapefruit, citrus fruits, half of a grapefruit is considered a serving. Meats are something that many people wonder about. How much meat should I eat or protein source? It doesn't really have to be meat. If you're plant-based and you wanna eat beans for your protein, that's okay too, but how much of that should you eat? Well, if we're looking at a hamburger patty, for example. I like to use the palm of my hand. And this is an example of a three ounce cooked hamburger patty, which would be four ounces raw. And as you'll see, it fits pretty perfectly in the palm of my hand. So you can kind of use the palm of your hand as a guide when you're looking at meat servings. If we're looking at grain servings, usually it would be one slice of bread or it would be about a half a cup or tennis ball size of corn, um, something like that, or macaroni, rice, whatever um, vegetable or grain that, that you choose. So I hope this kind of helps you determine what exactly is a serving size and how should I include that in my diet. So briefly, in summary, one serving of meat would be about like this. One serving of vegetable would be something like this with you needing two to three of those. So that could be a cup to cup and a half of broccoli or you could have broccoli and a salad. Doesn't have to all be the same vegetable, of course. And then your fruits, about half a cup or tennis ball size. Grains, 
about half a cup or tennis ball size is a serving. So I hope this helps you determine really what that plate should look like each day. Hope you have a good day today.